Hi, this is Tom with Land of Math. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use percentages to find the total cost when we're using either tax or tip. Now, there's going to be two different methods I'm going to use uh, to do this. Um, and I'll talk about in the video, I'll talk about why each one makes sense and the different advantages of both of them. Now, if you also have other questions about percentages, I've done a series of uh, percentage videos and I'll put those links uh, in the description below if you need to check those out. So let's go ahead and let's start doing some tax and tip problems. All right, in method number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the amount of the tax or the tip and then we're just gonna add it to the original price. Now the advantage of this method is it's easy to calculate how much tax or tip we have. Now with method number two, we're gonna use a very simple equation to solve the total amount. Now, the advantage is here, it's a lot faster, and we're gonna need this to solve uh, future problems that might be a little more challenging, like this one, where you know the total cost with tax, the percent of tax, and you have to find the original amount. All right, here's an example of our first method. And so what we're gonna do, we have the problem, um, there's an $80 item with 20% tax, a so pretty steep tax here. We're gonna take the whole amount, 80, times the 0 0.20, which is the 20% tax, we're going to multiply those together and get the $16, which is the amount of tax. We then take the $80, which is the total amount, plus the amount of tax, which is $16, and that gives us our total cost of $96 with tax. Now, if we're, here's an example of method two. So we're going to use the same amount, the same situation, $80, 20% tax. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the $80, and we're going to multiply by 1.2 or 1.20. And when we do that, we also get $96. So we actually get the cost with the tax doing it this way as well. Now, you might ask yourself, how is this possible? So if you want to think of it this way, we know that 80 times 1 would be $80, or the whole amount. And we already know that we can take 80 times 0.2 and get the 16, which was the amount of tax. So what we can do is if we just combine the two, the one and the 0.2, that's going to equal that 1.2. So basically we're just taking the whole amount plus the percent of tax and putting it together. Again, you can think of this as a variable too. So the whole amount would be like a W or a 1W. And the, the amount of tax was 20% or 0.2W. So if we combined these two W's, like we combine our common variable. We would take the one plus the 0.2 and we get 1.2 W. And that's gonna equal our total. So 1.2 W equals T. And so that's how we could kind of set this up as an equation. Now, here are three examples and we're gonna use both methods um, in each of these. So here's example number one. All right, we have a $110 item with 15% tax. So using method number one, we take our total cost, $110. We would multiply it by the decimal of 15%, which is 0.15, and we would get $16.50. We're gonna take that 16.50, which is the tax, add it to the original amount, 110, and we get $126.50. Now, method two, we would just take the $110, and we're gonna multiply it by 1.15. So that's the whole amount and the 15% tax. So if we multiply those two together, you can see that we're gonna end up getting the same amount, $126.50. So both ways, we're gonna end up with the same answer. So here's example number two. So in this example, we have a $7.60 meal. And we decide we're gonna leave a 25% tip. So you can see we're taking 760 times 0.25, which is 25% written as a decimal, and we get a dollar ninety. Now, this dollar ninety, this is going to represent the amount of tip that we're going to leave for the waiter or the waitress. So, in this first method, we would take the total cost of the meal, which is seven sixty, and we're going to add the amount of tip that we're going to leave for the uh, the waiter or waitress. And so, when we do that, we end up with um, nine dollars and fifty cents. Now, if we're to use method two, we would take the seven sixty from the meal. And we're going to end up multiplying that by 1.25. The one's the whole amount. The 0.25 is the percent of tip. And we end up with the exact same answer. All right, on our third and final example, 
We're back at the restaurant, and this time we're going to leave 125% tip on this $60 meal. So very, very generous. So we using method one, we'd take the $60 times 1.25, and we get our $75, which is the amount of tip. That's quite a tip. To find the total cost, we take the $60 for the meal plus the $75, which is the amount of tip, and when we add those two together, we're going to get $135. So that's our cost with the tip. Now, using method two, we're going to take the $60 again, but this time we're going to add, or we're going to multiply, excuse me, 2.25. And when we do that, we should end with the same answer. So let's kind of double check our work, 60 times 2.25. And sure enough, we're getting $135, just like we did with the first method. And so both ways, $135. Now, you might wonder, where are we getting this 2.25 from? Well, the 100% right here represents 100% of the whole amount of the original meal, the $60. We added 120% to it. Now, if we're writing these as, like if we're converting them to, from percents to decimal, we would divide by 100, so the 100% would be one. The 125% would be 1.25. So if we put those together, we get 2.25. And that would represent the 100% of the original amount and the 125% of the tip. And so that will give us our total cost. And as you can see here again, it's the same amount. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. And we'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on The Land of Math.